Hey, what's up everyone? Heavy Tension here, and today I want to show you guys the extremely powerful Immobilizing Hammer build. Full credits for this build go to Reddit user Extreme Mango, whose original post I'll link to in the description below. The main aim of this build is to stop the monster dead in its tracks. It does this by amplifying the hammer's innate ability to deal KO damage when aiming for the head, paralyzing the monster with some beefed up paralysis attack, and exhausting the monster quicker than normal by draining its stamina. Now unfortunately, this build requires a whopping 9 decorations. I don't currently have all the decorations, but I feel I have enough at this point to give you guys a glimpse at how awesome this build is. So just keep in mind that while watching the gameplay at the end of this video, there is untapped potential for even more immobilization goodness. Alright, so let's jump right into the skills before heading into the gear and decoration. First, we have free element slash ammo up level 3, which unlocks your weapon's hidden element by 100%. This is necessary for this build because the Barath Breaker's Paralysis element is hidden. Next is Weakness Exploit Level 3, which increases the affinity of attacks that hit weak spots by 50%. Slugger Level 3, which makes it easier to stun monsters by 30%. Stamina Thief Level 3, which increases certain attacks' ability to exhaust monsters by 30%. Handicraft Level 2, which extends the weapon sharpness gauge by 20 And Part Breaker Level 2, which makes it easier to break parts of large monsters by 20%. Again, I am missing some of the decorations which would give us Part Breaker level 3 and Paralysis Attack level 3, so instead I'm using Speed Sharpening level 3 and Attack Boost level 1 as temporary fill-ups. But moving on to gear and starting off with the weapon, we have the Barath Breaker 3. This weapon has an attack of 1040, negative 10% affinity, 390 Paralysis element unlocked with free element, a level 1 and level 2 slot, and plus 15 defense. And since this is a rarity 6 weapon, it can be augmented 3 times. In this, we slotted a Destroyer Jewel for Part Breaker Level 1 and a Drain Jewel for Stamina Thief Level 1. Next, we have the ever popular Dragon King Eye Patch, which gives us Level 2 Weakness Exploit skill. We slotted this with a Tenderizer Jewel to add another level to Weakness Exploit, allowing us to max it out. For Chest, we used the Kushala Sista Beta. This armor gives us Level 2 Handicraft, and we slotted it with a Drain Jewel for Stamina Thief Level 1. For Arms, we used the Zora Claws Beta. This gives us our first level of free element skill, and we slotted this with a Drain Jewel for that second level of Stamina Thief. For the Waste, we use the Uragon Coil Beta. This gives us level 1 in Part Breaker, and this is also where we would slot a Destroyer Jewel for an additional level in Part Breaker, and a Paralyzer Jewel for Paralysis Attack skill, if I had them. For Legs, we use the Kirin Leg Guards Beta. This gives us level 2 free element, allowing us to get 100% of the Barath Breaker's Paralysis Attack. And this is where I would slot two Paralyzer Jewels for the added Paralysis attack, again if I had them. And for the Charm, we use the Hammer Staple, the KO Charm 3, to max out the Slugger skill for added stun power. And so guys, that is the build. Again, all credit for this goes out to Extreme Mango, so hit him up on Reddit and be sure to thank him if you like the build. But I'll leave you guys with some gameplay, hopefully I do Hammer and this build justice as I mainly use the Charge Blade. But with that said, if you enjoy the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Heavy out.